Section A allows students to come up with their own definition of half-life. Following the directions on their sheet, they should first click on the pause button to prevent the animation from starting. Then they add 100 atoms to the workspace and click on step until they reach the half-life mark. Once there, they should notice that about 50% of the carbon-14 atoms are now nitrogen-14. I ask the students to repeat the process to confirm their findings and then use this evidence to draft their own explanation of the concept of half-life. If they wish, they can explore the uranium and custom decay options, but it is not really necessary. In the decay rate section, students are asked to think a little bit more deeply. Their gut reaction is that at two half-lives, the original number of atoms is gone. To illustrate why this is not true, they put all the atoms on the workspace and run the simulation. The graph created creates a powerful visualization that it is 50% of the original amount, then 25%, then 12.5%, then 6.25%, etc. In other words, half-life means half of the atoms that you start your count with. This is an important difference, and the graph allows students to visualize the numbers instead of just memorizing. The measurement section allows students to practice what they learned in the decay rate section and provides information on which isotope should be used for different objects. It also serves as a bridge between the concepts learned in the previous sections and their applications in the dating game section. The dating game section is the application of the concepts. This is how it works. I'm going to drag the probe to the dead tree. It tells me that there is 97.4% of carbon-14 remaining. Students drag the arrows until they match the percentage. and type the estimated time in the box. Then they click the check estimate and the program tells them whether they're correct or not. In their sheet I indicate which setting to use. For example, this dinosaur skull cannot be measured using carbon-14, uranium-238, or custom-100 thousand years simply because there's none of that isotope. However, in custom, at a hundred million years, we see a 34.2% of the isotope, which they can then measure as they have previously done. Make sure students realize that they have to type in the whole number in order to get their smiley face. At the end of their record sheets, there are a couple of critical thinking questions that I suggest are discussed between partners before they commit the answers to paper. 